Hey guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on the subject of chest pain and in particular why it's not okay to wait and see if the pain goes away. So this video has um, been brought about because I met a patient recently, 45 year old man, completely fit and well. And uh, basically what happened was one night he was he sort of went home, started noticing some chest discomfort. He felt a little bit uncomfortable, was walking around, decided that he would go and do a little bit of exercise to see if the pain would go away. And then he sort of did that, the discomfort got a little bit better, had more of the discomfort. Eventually he thought, okay, well, I'll take some paracetamol and go to sleep. And hopefully by tomorrow morning it'll go away and if it um, continues then I will go and go to hospital. I wanted to tell you why that thought process is wrong in the context of chest discomfort when you get chest discomfort. So the first thing to say is chest discomfort is an incredibly scary symptom. Of course it's uncomfortable but the scariness of chest discomfort is largely about the fact that it may herald something bad going on with our heart. In particular it may be the first sign that there's an impending heart attack, which in itself can be a fatal event. And therefore the universal recommendation, wherever you read, is that if someone gets chest discomfort, they should call for help immediately. Despite this universal recommendation, I am always amazed to go to my coronary care unit and see patients and find out that they've had a heart attack. And when you talk to them, they'll say, well, yes, I got some chest discomfort two days ago, then it went away after an hour, um, so I left it um, and then it came back and that's why I've come to hospital and I say to them, well, you've had a heart attack. Why didn't you come earlier when you had the chest pain earlier? When I think about it, I can understand why they leave it because the reality is if I came home tonight and I got chest discomfort, I'd probably immediately think, oh, well, it's nothing. Maybe it's a bit of indigestion. Maybe I'll just wait and see. I don't want to trouble anyone. It's too much of a hassle, etc. However, it's important to understand why it is not a good idea to wait and see if it goes away. First thing to understand is that the heart is a muscle. This muscle needs blood. If you deprive the heart of blood, the heart muscle starts suffocating, the cells start suffocating, and that suffocation is manifested as discomfort. Like with any muscle, if I deprive it of blood, my muscle will start aching after a while. Similarly, uh, the cells in the heart will start suffocating, and then they scream out, and that scream is manifest as chest discomfort and often the discomfort is right here and it's uh, dull and heavy and very uncomfortable. The important thing to understand here is that when you have chest discomfort, it is cell suffocating. If you do not relieve that suffocation, then the cells will eventually die. The good news is that if those cells are truly suffocating, then going into a hospital will allow someone to go in and mechanically open up any obstruction of the blood supply to the heart, thereby relieving the suffocation of the cells. The presence of pain, therefore, indicates living cells that are suffocating. When the pain stops, that means that the cells have died. So dead things don't scream out, dead things don't hurt. So it is a mistake to say, well, I will wait for the discomfort to go away because by the time the discomfort has gone away, that means that those cells have already died. If the pain is a warning, the pain is telling you do something because these cells which are causing me pain are still alive, do something now. If you wait, then those cells die, the pain goes away. The problem with that is even though the pain goes away, what it does leave is dead cells within the heart. And those dead cells mean that the heart therefore is not able to pump as effectively anymore as it could have had those cells been alive. And the major guide to future prognosis if you survive a heart attack is how much damage there is. So the more the damage, the more likely it is that the prognosis is going to be poor in the long term. And, you're, and the patient is left with a condition called heart failure, which means that the heart is now weak because parts of the heart muscle have died. It can't do its job as properly as it should. And that is why there is this recommendation that if you get chest discomfort, seek help as quickly as possible. Why? Because if it's hurting, it's still alive. When it, stop hurt, when it stops hurting, it's dead and you've missed the boat. And in this setting, time matters because you can relieve the suffocation. The quicker you can relieve the suffocation, the more likely it is that you will be able to resurrect those cells.
Thank you so much. All the best.